What's up guys, Nvidia has introduced a second gen Ulmi B ultra low motion blur G-Sync technology which delivers an effective motion clarity of up to 1000 Hz, which should make a huge difference in competitive gaming and esports titles. With the Ulmi B2 technology, Nvidia expects to deliver full refresh rate backlight strobing, close to 2x the brightness and zero crosstalk. When Nvidia launched the original Ulmi B technology in 2015, monitor response time, the time it takes for a pixel to transition colors were relatively slow, causing substantial ghosting and blurry images, resulting in poor motion clarity. Motion clarity is best described as the ability to clearly see and comprehend objects in motion. Sharp edges and non-blurry details are hallmarks of good motion clarity. To improve motion clarity, ULMIB enabled a technique called backlight strobing, which disables the backlight 75% of the time. Therefore, the images are clear but less bright. ULMIB 2 provides full refresh rate backlight strobing and significantly brighter images, all while maintaining pristine image quality. With the panel response time improvements, ULMIB2 gives competitive gamers the motion clarity needed to perform at peak levels by keeping them in the game when moments get chaotic. For a 360Hz monitor with ULMIB2, the effective motion clarity is actually 1440Hz. That means in order to obtain the same level of motion clarity without ULMIB2, gamers would need a classic panel capable of 1000 440Hz. So it's kinda fake refresh rates are back. But still, how does ULMIB2 work? First, let's explain how LCD panels work. LCD panels consist of two main layers. The liquid crystal pixels, which chemically change to adjust the color of the light shining through them, and the backlight, which produces the light that shines through the pixels. When a new frame needs to be displayed on the monitor, a new color value is sent to each pixel. At this point, the pixel will start to transition to its new color over time. During the this process, the backlight is on the entire time, so the camera visually sees the full transition. In addition, the image is held before and after the transition, which causes the human visual system to blur the two images together. The combination of the motion hold and the visible transition is what causes display-based motion blur, not to be confused with an in-game motion blur setting. With the ULMIB2, the backlight is only turned on when each pixel is at its correct color value. The idea is to not show the pixels transitioning, and only show them when their color is accurate. But this technique creates a challenge. Backlights generally light up all pixels at the same time where pixels are changed on the rolling scan out. At any given point in time, a portion of the screen will have double images, known as crosstalk. The solution to this problem is what sets G-Sync's ULMIB2 apart from other backlight strobing techniques. With G-Sync, we are able to control the response time depending on where the vertical scanner is, such that the pixels throughout the panel are at the right level at precisely the right time for the backlight to be flashed. They call this vertical dependent overdrive. With the vertical dependent overdrive, ULMIB2 delivers great image quality even at high refresh rates, where the optimal window for backlight strobing is small. But what do you guys think? Does this technology make sense? Or you just have to buy an OLED with a high refresh rate if you really need the clearest motion? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, share this video with your friends. See you in the next one. Peace out.